Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Apps Development Training with Low Code No Code Development Environment on anubavtrainings.com. In our last session, we talked about how to import and publish a SAP Build process in the cloud and how to import that in Build Apps for the integration purpose. Then using the action flow to trigger the build process and test the flow end to end. In our today's session, we are going to proceed further. And since we have got a basic logical closure of our application, we are going to deploy this application to the cloud. So basically, our application is currently running on the on the local mode where we are able to test the application in mobile phone by scanning the barcode or using the web application preview. But in order to deliver this app, it has to be seamlessly integrated with build work zone. So you will learn how to publish an application by creating a build and then deploying the application to the SAP BTP account. Once the application is deployed, where can you check the application URL? Furthermore, how do you configure a build work zone site by creating a functional catalog and a group? We will then assign the application to this catalog and the group and also grant our user the necessary role to access this application. So the application will be centrally integrated with build work zone on the work zone site. Having said that, let's get started and see this in action. Now, we come back here. You can also see it is giving me eight free builds in my account because we are using trial account. There are maximum eight free builds which it allows. So two per option. So I create a configuration now and you see we have got these options to choose. We will go with SAP build work zone build. Then we will give a configuration name. Let's say Anubhav trainings and build apps default and create this configuration for the build. Now once the configuration is created, we are going to start the build process. So what does the build process actually do? It first of all marks a particular milestone, which is the version of the application. Usually the version start with one, of course. So 1.0.0. So one is the release. Then we have the patch level and we have the uh, sub level. So you can also see the information here, right? Then we can say which version of course is the latest version I want to use for my build. So deploy app to SAP BTP platform. Yes. It will be deployed as a HTML5 application. So I click on build now and my build starts. You can see it's a building. So this could take up to five to six minutes depending on how much is the load on the SAP BTP environment. Now behind the scene this build happens on a Linux machine in the BTP environment. So you can also drill down and hopefully you can also see the generate the report for support in case the build is failing you can always see. So technically speaking this build is called a multi-target application build. Look at here MTAR. MTAR stands for multi-target application build. So in case you are facing any difficulty in the build and it's failing you want to open a ticket to SAP, you can always download the log from here and attach it to your SAP ticket. So you can see the build is ongoing. So in few seconds, we will see the build will be completed and then we will be ready to deploy this app to the cloud. So build will actually just package your application. Yes, as a MTAR, multi-target application. Then ultimately, we will have the deployment to the cloud. So after around five to 10 minutes, you can see the build has been completed and now it's the time to deploy the app. So we drill down into the build and there you can see the deploy option is now available. You can also copy the packaged version of the app in your computer by downloading this MTAR file. Now I will trigger the deploy and this will now ask me to select my API endpoint. So you can see which data center are we using. So to find that we go to our BTP account in the sub account overview section and there you can find the API endpoint 
US 10-001. So that is what may be different for you, those who are using this particular application. So we do that and you can see here, we are going to use exactly same US 10-001. So we select that and now I will click on login to BTP account. So it will open another pop-up where I have to authenticate with my default identity provider authorize the access and it has logged in with my cookies to my BTP account with my user ID. So now in this we get our org space so we can also see the default org is 78 ABC. So that is the one I'm going to choose. Yes, then we will choose space as a dev space. So application get deployed in the dev space. I click on continue button. And you can see the application is getting deployed now to SAP BTP account.